Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Today, I wanted to make a video on something that I was thinking about as I was sitting in that tractor, augering all those holes. Is this worth it? So about a week ago, I rented a, uh, an auger, a skid steer with an auger attachment on it. And I was all excited. Yeah, I'm gonna film this. It's trying to think of how to make a uh, guy drilling holes with a skid steer uh, interesting. Kind of seemed like a snooze fest to me. But anyway, as I was drilling some test holes with it before I even set up the camera or anything, I began to get a little frustrated and was thinking to myself, is this worth it? You know, I'm spending $400 for a day for this equipment and it's not going exactly as I planned. So I want to kind of help you if you're thinking about renting an auger and uh, give you some ideas and things to think about. So uh, yeah, first things first, let's talk about the different types of augers. So you got your one man auger, two man auger, uh, three point hitch attachment for a farm tractor or a, and I'll count this as one, uh, skid steer, mini excavator, or backhoe attachment. It's pretty much the same uh, setup. So well, the one man auger, that's gonna work really well in a situation where you have premium soil, nothing too hard, too rocky, just your good, easy digging soil. If you can dig it with a post hole digger really easy, you're gonna have a really good time with a one man auger. So yeah, and it's gonna be a lot less energy than using a post hole digger. Only be able to go with such a, not a very big hole with a one man auger. And then your two man augers, you're gonna be able to step up on your bit size a little bit, probably get a little bit more leverage with two guys pushing down and also holding. And that's gonna work better in your somewhat rockier soils. and situations where you're doing you know maybe more holes than you would do with a single man auger and it's it's going to be a little bit easier with two guys rather than one and that that unit is heavier than the single man and it's a job for two people we'll say that the nice part about the one man and the two man is you can get it in between gates or in between buildings and they also have a, a one man auger that's kind of like a seesaw and the engine's mounted on the back and then it's, you push down on it. Those are really cool. You can get those into tight spaces and they seem kind of a little bit easier than a one or a two man because you got, you got leverage. And then you have your three point hitch style uh, attached to a farm tractor with a PTO. That's gonna work really well in big pastures or big areas where you have plenty of room to move the tractor around. They're gonna work probably just as well as a skid steer mini excavator backhoe attachment but then you get to your skid steer mini excavator backhoe attachment and I chose that one because I'm was working alone and I wanted the down pressure of the equipment to kind of you know push down for me I knew that I am in terrible soil we live on a rock farm I felt like that equipment would do a little bit better and then for your skid steers excavator for that style you're gonna need a little bit more room, not as much as you would for a tractor, um, but you're gonna need some room. And I, I had plenty of room to dance around here. And you can also get larger holes with your um, equipment mounted uh, augers than you could with a uh, man or man held auger. Let's talk about soil types real quick. First of all, dig a test hole or dig multiple test holes. Uh, if you have rocks, say any bigger than your fist, I probably wouldn't do a one or a two man auger. You'll probably be better off with some sort of equipment mounted auger. For example, here I had areas that were rocks and then further down, I had areas that were not as big. They were, you know, one inch and uh, maybe just a hair bigger size rocks. And then for example, I was drilling holes here and could only get so deep. And then once I dug it out by hand with the uh, postal digger and a digging bar, I found where I was hitting and it was like a rock about this big and I couldn't really move my holes, especially for my corner post areas, because they kind of have to be in the designated spot. You know, they can't move too much. Also, some things to think about too are if you're near a lot of trees, I would suggest 
probably not going with a man held auger. The tree roots are pretty, uh, pretty tough to get through. So, and even still, I had a hard time getting through it with the uh, skid steer. If you dig in your test holes, your multiple test holes, and you find rocks that are say, you know, any bigger than say two fists or more, it might be a good idea to maybe just dig it by hand. But that's not true because you know, you could have half your holes be rocky and then half of them are not and then it would it would kind of work out so something to think about too the best time or season to uh, drill your holes i would suggest doing it in fall or uh, spring when the soil has a little bit of moisture in it not saturated but there's some moisture in there so when you're drilling it, it kind of sticks together and you can, so you could pull out the auger with the dirt on it and, and kind of clear it from there. The issue that I had is it's dry as a bone out here and I would drill the hole and it would drill down deep enough. But as soon as I lifted the bit up, all the dirt would just fall right off back into the hole. And I had to go back and clear it out with the uh, post hole digger. You don't want it too wet out or saturated because then you're just going to get all messy. And if you have equipment, it's going to, start rutting everything up. It's just not going to be a good deal. So in conclusion, and my opinion on if you should rent an Esca, if you should rent auger equipment, I had about 40 holes here that I did. Half of them, not even half, say 15 of them worked out nice. And I got down to depth that I wanted to do. And then maybe another quarter got down a foot maybe two foot and then the rest of them were just complete duds i barely got down six inches or a foot but thinking about it at the end of the day i think it was worth it even though i got less than half of my holes dug to depth one because those extra 15 20 holes that i don't have to dig by hand is going to save me a lot of energy a lot of sweat and blood and tears and time those are holes that i didn't really have to dig i do got to clear them out which eh, i guess it is what it is if you got more than 15 holes to do it might be worth renting a uh, some equipment to drill the holes to auger the holes and that's my uh, opinion or thoughts on if you should rent auger equipment if it's worth it so this will be my first video after uh, we hit a thousand subscribers and i am uh, extremely excited and uh thankful for all you that are watching and i hope that i am uh giving you uh some inspiration or at least entertainment of things we're doing out here on our homestead and uh thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one <laughs> what are you doing in there <laughs>